Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you the 10 hidden features for the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. Now, with this phone, there are a lot of hidden features, and we are known for our hidden features, but we've never done an iPhone one. Now, this can be pretty much uh, applied to any phone that has iOS 11. So whether it be the iPhone 8 or iPhone 7 or iPhone X, this should all work. And as always, if you know all 10 hidden features, then you get a thumbs up. If you didn't know all 10 hidden features, then I get a thumbs up. Let's get started. All right guys, so for the first hidden feature, you might have heard about this, it's a dark mode on the iPhone, but everyone's doing it wrong. It doesn't matter that you have to go all the way into a certain spot to do it. The right way to do this is when you have your regular settings or any iPhone built-in app, you just triple tap the home button, one, two, three, and I automatically go into this mode. This is actually a much better way to do it than how everyone else is doing it, just kind of like, oh, going to settings and all this stuff. This is the way to do it. And if you triple tap the home button again, you immediately go back. So that's the big part about this is how to do it. So how do I set this up? You go into general, then you go to accessibility, you swipe all the way down to the bottom, and then you go to accessibility shortcut, and then smart invert colors. This is gonna be much better to read in low light. Uh, for those of you who are thinking about jumping to the iPhone X, this will also be better for battery life as well. So it's just a really great way to make sure that you have this new dark mode, but in a much more sophisticated way, and it's gonna be much better overall. All right guys, now the second hidden feature is a old one, but if you never knew it, it really is hidden. And that is how to clear the RAM on your iPhone. Now you might think, well, that's just easy. It's just double tapping and then you're swiping away everything, right? No, actually that's gonna slow down your phone. So you don't wanna close apps unless they freeze or if it's an app like Maps. And that's what you're really trying to avoid here, draining your battery. So clearing the RAM once a week is pretty good for your phone. And if you turn it off, that's the same thing. But just a really quick way on how to do this, you hold down the power button, and then once it brings up here, you hold down the home button. And you just hold this down till it goes away, and then once this goes away, it has now cleared your RAM. Simple, quick, easy thing to do, but it's definitely gonna save you in the long run. I recommend doing this or turning off your phone once a week and this will help your battery life, it'll help your speed of your iPhone, and it's just gonna maintain the top speed and battery for it overall. Now this next feature is a really good one, especially if you like to fall asleep when playing something like music, podcast, or maybe some ambient noise. Your phone has a built-in timer, kind of like a TV would, to turn itself off after you've had a good amount of time to fall asleep. So how you do this is set up Go to clock, then tap the timer section, and then set whatever your time is. So if you want to set it to be one hour from now, you can do uh, when timer ends. Instead of playing something, you can do the opposite and stop playing. So this will stop playing whatever you have running uh, in terms of music, ambient sound, or anything along those lines. And just a really great feature to be able to turn something off after you have that. I think this is really good, especially for people that do use something like ambient noise or white noise or anything along those lines to fall asleep. This way it'll turn off after a certain amount of time and make sure your uh, battery is in top shape in the morning. All right, now this next feature you might have heard of, but you definitely have to do it the right way or else you're gonna have issues. And that is the new Type to Siri feature. Now with Type to Siri, instead of just speaking to it, you can actually type to it instead. Now you might wanna do this inside of a classroom, an office, somewhere where you're not supposed to be on your phone and you wanna get a quick answer from Siri to know something, but you don't wanna make sure Siri doesn't talk to you either. So first thing you're gonna do is turn off your switch to silent, then you're gonna go into settings, and then you're going to go to general and then accessibility. And then from here, we're going to go to Siri. Now from here, we're gonna turn on type with Siri, but instead of always on, you're gonna switch it to control with ringer switch. This way you will not get a response back. So this way, when I hold it down, I can now ask,
and I will get a response as long as Siri works. And finally, I did get it. So it's really simple and easy to get their response. That way you get it and know it right away without actually having Siri go off. All right, now this next feature is what I usually call baby proofing a phone. Essentially, you lock the person into one app so they can't get out of it. Really great for a baby. I have so many friends that give their uh, kids the phone and they just love the pretty colors, but you don't want them to go anywhere outside of where they shouldn't. So how to baby proof for iPhone is by going into settings, then going under general, then accessibility, and then you are going to go to the very bottom and guided access. You're gonna turn this on and you're going to create a password or use Touch ID, whichever you prefer. And what this allows you to do, and then you're gonna turn on, again, accessibility shortcut. So now when we triple tap our home button on an app we want to keep the kid on, you want to triple tap now, one, two, three, and you're going to go to guided access. Guided access has now started. I'm gonna tap it again, one, two, three and now show you guys the parameters you can set for this. So I'm gonna type in my super secret password. And so you do set up a password so they can't get into it, right? They cannot get out of this without you. Now in the option settings, you want to disable the power volume keys. I would disable motion. You can even disable keyboard again so they don't accidentally do anything. You want them to keep touch so they can actually keep the touch of this screen, but only on this screen so they can't go anywhere else. And if it's something like YouTube, they can't type uh, to another video, so that's good as well. Um, and you can have you know time uh, limit too, so they only have a certain uh, set of time where they can have the phone. So really great for that. And now that you have this, I can't hit the power button, I can't hit the volume rocker, I can't hit the, nothing works except the triple power, or sorry, triple home, one, two, three. And then if I wanna turn this off, now I need to enter my password. So that is how you baby proof your iPhone, and then you can hit end when you want to use the phone again. Now the next hidden feature can be quite useful for Safari users. And that is that you can quickly go to the desktop site a lot more easily now on your iPhone. So if you type in the website, all you have to do is hold down this button, not tap, but hold it down, the refresh button. And when you do, you bring up request desktop site. And this way you can quickly go to a desktop version of a website. This is a lot quicker and easier to do than before. So it's just a really simple and great way to immediately go to it. All right, now this next one can be a really great feature for yourself or a really bad feature if you're hiding something from someone if they know this way. So how to quickly get back a closed tab. So say someone is coming and you want to quickly close a tab. So you're gonna quickly close that tab and then go on something else and what, look, I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, or if you happen to have the ability where, oh man, I really wanna get that tab back. Well, you just hit this button, and from this screen, you hold down the plus icon. Now, when you hold that down, it'll actually bring up your recently closed apps, so you can see exactly what was closed right away before you got there, or you can bring back your app that you closed yourself. All right, now the next feature is text shortcuts. Now, you might have known about this feature, most people don't know the best way to use it is actually to quickly type something such as an email, a web address, a website, something that you use very often and usually really great for business purposes. So we're gonna go into settings, then general, then we're going to go to keyboard, and then we're gonna to go to text replacement. Now from here, you're gonna create your own phrases to actually be able to quickly type something. Now I recommend doing this with characters, but how you do it is basically you hit plus, you type whatever the shortcut is. I wouldn't use letters just because you use those often, so that might get annoying to suddenly see something, but you can do something like a question mark per se. And then type R-I-C-K-Y, you know, something like that. And now, when I go to type something, if I hit the exclamation point, it immediately gives me a number. 
If I hit the at symbol, I immediately get my email address. If I hit the this symbol, it goes to the website. If I hit the question mark, it says this. So really great, quick and easy access to do things that you do often in a really shortcut kind of way. So I love this just because if you type something like a website, email address, a phone number a lot, this is going to get you there a lot faster. All right, this next one is a really good feature to always make sure you know where you parked, and that is from Apple Maps. So if you do use Apple Maps instead of Google Maps, this is a really great feature for you, or something you just might wanna use just because you have it. And in the settings function, you're going to go to Maps, and then you're gonna swipe all the way down to the bottom and turn on Show Parking Location. Now, as long as your phone connected to your car via Bluetooth, that's all you need. Once that's done, it's gonna automatically run in the background and it's gonna be able to make sure that it knows where you parked. So even if you use Google Maps for navigation and then just when you get there, uh, have Apple Maps ready, then when you get back to your parking spot, you have it ready to go so you know where you parked. All right, so for our last hidden feature, we always like to take a look at either the camera or photos and this one is no exception. So the really cool thing about the new live photos feature is besides editing and being able to like, you know, take out a frame, which a lot of people know about now, you can actually swipe up and you have a built in loop bounce and long exposure feature, which can be really cool to kind of see and then share. So you can see the cars behind me actually are going right now. Uh, and they're in a loop or I can have them bounce back and actually uh, have them a really cool bounce effect. Um, and with this, you can also do it right here. So let me do this one, it's better for the bounce. You can see them more easily in the background bouncing now. But you can also do a long exposure too, which kind of gives a blur effect in there. Really good for things uh, that have water in it. That's a really cool feature for long exposure or lights. So that's a really good way to go about it and have that feature. Really simple and easy, but it's nice that it's built in. You don't have to download a third party app just to do a loop, bounce, or a long exposure now with your live photos. All right, guys, those were our 10 hidden features for the iPhone 8. Please let me know if you like this video in the comments section down below, uh, as I do have 10 more hidden features just waiting to see if you guys like this video, I will do another one. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.